Did you know that videos with multiple talking characters get 5x more engagement than single character videos? And now you can create them in literally 10 minutes without any animation skills or expensive software. The new design feature is absolutely mind-blowing. So here's the thing, you want to create engaging videos with multiple characters having conversation, but every time you try, it feels impossible. And you think, how do I make it look professional without spending thousands of dollars on animation software? You see these amazing animated videos online with cute characters chatting away, and you're like, I could never create something like that, it's too complicated. Well, here is a total game changer. I have discovered Design's brand new multi-character feature can create an entire conversation scenes with multiple talking characters in just 5 simple steps. And people using this successfully aren't professional animators. They are content creators, teachers, small business owners, and storytellers who wanted to bring their ideas to life. And the results are absolutely stunning. And honestly, it's so much easier than you think. So today I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create amazing multi-character conversation videos using Design's new features. By the end of this video, you will know how to make multiple characters talk to each other, keep them looking consistent through the scene, and create engaging videos that people absolutely love to watch. Plus, I will show you secret tips that make your character conversations feel natural and captivating. So grab your laptop, get comfy with your favorite drink, and let me show you step number one. You're going to be amazed at how simple this actually is. So the first step is where all the magic begins, and honestly, this is the part that's going to make you feel like a total creative genius. Instead of trying to draw characters from scratch or hiring expensive designers, Design AI creates consistent adorable characters for you. The amazing part is that once you create these characters, they stay exactly the same throughout your entire video. No more worrying about characters looking different in each scene. And the first thing that you have to do is create your account. And if you don't have that, you can go to the link on my description, click on it, and then just generate your account. And once we are on this section, what I'm going to do is just scroll down. So to start with this, you can either begin with a picture where you already have the two characters, otherwise we can click in text to image and generate our image. So I'm just going to click on that. And then here I'm going to generate my image. So first of all, I'm going to be changing my sizing. Since I want it to be a video for YouTube, I'm going to be choosing the sizing, but you can go ahead and choose between all of these options or you can go ahead and just click in custom and generate your own measurements. So I'm just going to keep it on this one and I will click in apply. Now we already have our measurements. What we have to do now over here is just go ahead and add our prompt. So for my prompt, I'm going to be generating a woman and a man giving the news in the TV. And to do this, I'm just going to go and add this prompt. You can go ahead and make it very simple if you want. And then we can go ahead and then just add the prompt improver option. Or you can leave it as you add it. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and change my style of image. So to do this, I'm just going to click in option. And I'm going to go and choose my design realistic. But as you can see, in design, we have so many options that we can choose from. So we have the general, we have the realistic, illustration shown portrait, 3D, anime, line art, material, logo, and even a character. But since I want to create a TV news uh, setup, I'm just going to keep it unrealistic. And now over here, you can go ahead and again, select your aspect radio. Since we already defined our canvas size, I don't really need to go and change that. I just have to go and select the canvas option. And now over here in my generation mode, I'm just going to keep it on HD and we can click in generate. Now it's going to take a few seconds till it generates my image. Now, as we can see, design already generated two options that we can choose from, which is this one and this one. I think my favorite one was the second one, since it looks a bit more organic, since the first one we also have like more people around, and I only want it to be with the men and the women. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and select the option of variation. And now we're going to get some other options from this same image. And now we have this and this option, which are also very good. So I think for my video, I'm going to be staying with this option and they look so real. And for our step number two is just go ahead and edit certain things that we want to modify in our image. And to do this, I'm just going to go, I'm going to take a look of which images. And as we can see is number one. So I'm just going to go and click in AI editor. And the only thing that I actually want to change on this image is this section over here, since I only want that these two characters are the humans on this image. So I'm just going to click in AI eraser and I'm going to click in close. And then from here, you can choose between the laser, the brush and the auto. I'm going to be choosing the brush since it's easier for me. We can go ahead and increase the size of our brush and then just brush over it. And now over here, we can click in generate. And over here, it's going to give me some different options where my image is changed. So I think this is the one that looks the best and I'm going to double click and that looks great. Now I really like it, my whole image, and we can begin with the creation of our video. And to do this, I'm just going to click in download. So I'm just going to keep this format and you can even go and upscale your image if you want to. But I'm just going to go and download it like this and I'm going to click in download. 
Now we can move on into our step number three. Write your character script. Here's where your characters get their own voices, and this is honestly the most fun part of the whole process. The key to great character conversation is making them feel natural and engaging, instead of having characters that just share information. Make them interact like real people. Maybe one character asks a question and the other one replies full of excitement. And if you're not sure how to create this, you can even do it with the help of AI, as I did over here. So I just add, create a 30 second script between two news anchors, a man and a woman, where they announce a new launch of design multiple character talk in one same video, and how this is changing the world in an entertaining and humorous way. And as you can see over here, ChatGPT already generated my script. Now we can move on into our step number four. Sync the lips of our characters to this new script. And here's the secret sauce that makes your character feel alive and keeps viewers totally captivated. This is where design new feature really shines. The AI automatically syncs your character's mouth and movements with the script. It adds natural gestures and even creates facial expressions that match what they're saying. If the character is excited, they will look excited. If the character is asking a question, they will have a curious expression. It's like having a professional animation team working for you. And to do this, we're just going to go back to our home page on design. And then from here, what we have to do is just scroll down and we will find the lip sync option. And then from here is where we can go and start with this. So first of all, we have to go and upload our image. So I'm just going to click in this arrow and then from here we can choose the image that we just generated. Now from here, what I'm actually going to do is just crop a little our image so we have more space. So we only focus on our two characters. So something like that is good and I'm going to click in done. And then we have perfectly set up our image. Now what we have to do is go ahead and pick a face from the image. So we're just going to click in pick a face image. And then from here, we're just going to click in our image. Over here, we're just going to make sure that we select both faces. So I'm just going to select this and this one as well. And now we can click in next. Now it's going to send us to this section. Over here, we got to go and choose a voice for each of our characters. So we can go ahead and try a few options to see which one we like the most. It's in this section where we can go ahead and enter our character script and also we can go ahead and choose the voice tone. So over here we can also go ahead and select in which language we want our voiceover. So I'm just going to keep it on English and now we can go ahead and then just choose our voice for our female character. So I'm just going to go and play this one to see. As you can see next to the name we can see if it's female or male so we can guide from this to select our voice. Hey, are you looking for a fresh and engaging voice for your podcast? I think for mine, something like this will work for my women character. So I'm just going to go and select that. Now we can go ahead and add the first part of my script. So I'm just going to go and add this option and then just add the first part of my script. Once we add our script, we can go ahead and select the speed of the voiceover. And something that I also really like about design is that we can go ahead and upload our own audio. So if you already filmed an audio, you can go ahead and then just upload it over here. And once you have selected your speed, you have your script ready and you have selected your voice, you can go ahead and click in generate and play audio. And now I'm just going to check out how it sounds. Good evening. Breaking news in the world of video creation. Zine has just launched something so mind blowing. And that sounds great. So we're just going to do exactly the same for our second character. I'm just going to go back from here. I'm just going to go and then just copy the rest of our uh, script and then just paste it over here. And then just make sure that if you create it with ChatGPT, you change these lines for a comma. And then now I just have to go ahead and make exactly the same. Just go ahead and select the voice for my male character. And I think from this, I would just go and then take a look which ones I like the most. Hold on to your hats, folks, because the news coming. Oh, yeah, I like this one. So I'm just going to try with that one. And then from this one, I'm going to try it a bit faster and I'm going to click in generate and play audio. It's called multiple characters talk in one scene video. Yes, you heard that right. Now your characters can chat. And I think that sounds pretty good. And now we have both audios. But what we have to be careful with is that we make sure that these ones don't are in top of each other since we are going to be listening to both at the same time and it's not going to work as well. Unless that that's how you did it on your script as well. But for mine, I'm just going to keep them far from each other. And just to double check that your audios are not uh, on top of each other, I would recommend you to play the whole video so you listen that the audio is absolutely clean. So you can do that and after that, we can go ahead and click in confirm and then we have our speaking voice completed and now you can go ahead and select the generation mode you can go ahead and keep it on pro and then from here we can go ahead and click in generate now we're just going to wait a few minutes till our video is complete generated and now over here we got our final result so we can go ahead and take a look good evening breaking news in the world of video creation zine has just launched something so mind-blowing our producer's coffee went cold because he couldn't stop watching it's called multiple characters talk in one scene video Yes, you heard that right. Now your characters can chat, gossip, or even argue, all without hiring your annoying cousin to do voiceovers. 
And I feel like that it's so cool. I feel like everything looks so organic. If I wouldn't know it's AI, I could definitely tell it's real people. And now for our final step is only downloading our video. And to do this, you're just gonna click on this section that it says download, and then it's gonna go and download your complete video. No animation experience required, no expensive software to learn, no complicated technical skills needed, just five simple steps, and you're creating a professional quality character conversations. Unlike hiring animators or buying expensive softwares, design is affordable and risk-free. Plus, once you learn this feature, you can create unlimited character videos for any purpose. And if you're wondering how to create consistent characters in different scenes, you can go ahead and check my video where I have put together how to do it very simple. The link is in my description. The world of AI-powered video creation, it's moving so quickly, and the people who start using these tools now are going to have such a creative advantage. Every day that you wait, it's another day that you could be creating engaging content that connects with your audience in a whole new way. I'm so excited to see what amazing character conversations you create. Drop a comment below and let me know what your first multi-character video is going to be about. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Have a great day.